The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their three children reportedly joined the monarch at Balmoral in the past week. According to a family friend, it has recently become a tradition that the Queen keeps the last weekend in August free for her grandchildren and great-grandchildren during her summer holiday in Scotland. The insider told Vanity Fair, it has become a tradition in recent years that the bank holiday weekend is the final family get-together before Christmas and everyone is invited. In the past it has turned into one big sleepover with lots of the Queen's grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Her Majesty enjoys it immensely. A source added that Prince William, Kate, George, Charlotte and Louis have had special time with Her Majesty at Balmoral. The source said, William, Kate, and the children have been enjoying some family time in Scotland and they have just spent some special time with the Queen. They always enjoy going up to Balmoral. They love the outdoors and walking in the hills and spending quality time with family. It's where William spent a lot of his childhood and it's important to him that his children experience what he did as a young boy. The Cambridges reportedly go for country walks, fishing, horse riding and cycling while in the Scottish Highlands. The Queen traditionally spends her summer at Balmoral Castle where she is joined by other members of the royal family. This year marks her first break without her beloved husband Prince Philip. The monarch was officially welcomed to her private residence in the Scottish Highlands in August by a guard of honour featuring a Shetland pony mascot. She inspected soldiers from Balaclava Company, 5th Battalion the Royal Regiment of Scotland. The pipes and drums of the regiment's 3rd Battalion performed during the ceremony and the Royal Regiment of Scotland's mascot, Shetland Pony Lance Corporal Cruachan IV, also took part. Royals including Prince Andrew, Sarah Ferguson, Princess Eugenie and her son August have been seen arriving at Balmoral to join Her Majesty. Scotland has been a welcome place of sanctuary for the royal family since the days of Queen Victoria as they enjoy country pursuits in the Highlands. Despite being on holiday, work still continues for the head of state as every day she receives from government ministers, and from her representatives in the Commonwealth and foreign countries, information in the form of policy papers, cabinet documents and other state papers for her attention. Related articles Meghan and Harry becoming intensely popular in the US royals cancel engagements after young member tests positive for COVID royal family rift. Queen constantly frustrated with Prince Charles.